whoa, step back here. I have probably miscommunicated a little bit in my first video. What is up guys? Welcome to another video. So this video, uh, I just released that video that I did a couple days ago, patent pending, where I was talking about these, I was talking about these little tea candle mug warmer things. Uh, and I've gotten a lot of comments like, these already exist, you can't patent that. Like, and like, whoa, I just, uh, after looking back at that video, I should have prefaced the video with, yes, I know that this idea of using a tea candle to warm a mug or a teapot has been around forever. I didn't invent that. Um, the only idea that I'm patenting is just my specific design and the three like little spacers that help the airflow and the elevation so that the mug stays not directly on the, the candle. So I certainly was not saying like, don't make this and like I'm patenting this whole idea. Like I'm only like my specific design. And so patents are set up where they are difficult to defend and they are expensive, but I have a relationship with a, an intellectual property lawyer that I talked to about this and I researched it and they said that there is not a patent out there for like my specific design. If you make these, great. If you have one, great. I was not saying that I invented the idea of using a tea light to warm something. That i sorry if that's the, how it came across. But after testing out a ton of different designs and different prototypes, I've settled on this one design that I think is really great and unique. It's like the spacer, like the distance between the bottom and the top for a specific purpose of a pottery mug, not a teapot or like a oil diffusion thing or, so there's there's lots of products out there. And um, so anyway, go ahead and make, I mean, there's people out there that make square ones. There's people out there that make ones that are flat on top. There's people, there's tons of them out there. So feel free to make them, feel free to buy them, feel free to do that. I just was purely saying that I thought that my design was cool and good enough that I could potentially build a business around this idea. And if I was gonna do that, then I would want a patent and that the patent would be a really valuable part of that business. That's all. Sorry if I misspoke and offended anybody. Uh, I purely just thought it was a cool idea that I've been working on. And I honestly, I didn't even see a lot of the ones that were out there. Like you guys commented some that were like, here, look at this one, look at this one. And I hadn't seen a lot of those. And there were a couple that were similar to this, but nothing that was exactly like this. And I'm not gonna go after anybody like that's making them right now. Like that's not my intent. My intent was just in my head thinking forward like a year to two or three years. Like if I want to have my design manufactured and I'm like making 10,000 of them and then a big box store, like, I don't know who would want to go make it, but someone else wants to go make exactly my design, then I could go after them after I've built up a business that's gonna do it. Like anybody that's selling them on Etsy or craft people or you people, you guys wanna sell them, that's totally fine. Like I'm not, there's, I'm not going after anybody. Like probably not going after anybody for this. I don't know if this clears it up or makes it more confusing, but anyway, I thought I'd just get that off my chest. After reading all the comments, I was like, whoa, step back here. I probably miscommunicated a little bit in my first video. That first video was really mostly meant to be like a, hey, look how good this works. Like, I wanna prove to you that this thing works. Not like a, I am the inventor of this thing because, I mean, I felt like that was with that, I didn't have to say that. Like a tea candle, that's where it gets its name is it's like made to warm up tea. So I thought that was pretty self-evident. Um, I just meant my specific design. So, okay, again, Sorry about the miscommunication and the confusion. They do work really well though, and I'm super excited about them. And I'm gonna keep like trying to make them and make them better and keep on going. So that's how innovation works. Is like you just improve on ideas and you improve on things and you use other things that have been around for a while. All right, anyway, I just thought I would clarify. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.